Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create really, really powerful text animations using simple overlays and some text masking. So if you guys wanna see more of these Vegas Pro tutorials every week on the channel, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new. Oh, and by the way guys, I recently dropped a video that is more than one hour long of Vegas content. It's all originally shot. We didn't recycle any of older videos. This is just completely a full guide of a advanced video editing tutorial so if you want to see that video the link is down in the description as well so you guys can check it out right after this video but with that all the way guys let's go ahead and get started by making these really really powerful text animations and its intros you can basically use it on anything rather it's an introduction an intro an outro all of that so let's go ahead and get started for right after the intro All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18. So I have a blank project open because of course, we're not gonna make any templates. We're not gonna edit them. We're gonna just create this cool, powerful, you know, reveal, animation, transition, how you wanna call this text effect in Vegas Pro 18 itself manually. So what I did, I just left a download link in the description of this folder that you guys can see where we have a lot of different overlays. So if I'm gonna play back, for example, this one, as you can see, we have this nice, you know, star icon that you can just go ahead and load in. We have multiple different ones you have 16 different overlays that you guys can choose from if i play a couple back as you can see we have hashtags we have just this wipe we have a circle we have like all different ones as you can see it's really really cool and the download link is of course for free in the description but you only need like winrar or winzip in order to extract this folder onto your desktop with all the animations in it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pick number 17 because I think this one looks actually very, very nice. As you can see, if I play it back. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this into our timeline. And then as you can see right here, we have it in it. Now, depending on like how long your name is, you want to divide the words like on top of each other instead of like one long word. So if you go to the media generators tab right here, you want to scroll down until you see titles and text. And we're going to drag on the default onto this animation right here. And first, we're going to just move this animation aside for a second because I'm first want to focus on you know getting my name all set up in like the right font and the right size so I'm just going to type in my name all under each other so I'm going to type in just but of course I want to have it nice and centered so I'm going to select everything in the text menu and we're going to hit this icon that says align center okay now we're going to browse through a couple fonts I do have a really really nice one in mind I think it's called restaurant menu so I'm going to go to the let's see where it is the R where it says restaurant menu book. That's the one. I think this one looks really, really tight with like the lines and the spacing in between the letters. So now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure it's nice and aligned. So if I play it back, this is what it looks like. And I think it really, really fits in this one because the circles become smaller, as you can see at the top and at the bottom. So I think this one is actually perfectly sized because we don't even need to resize this one in like, you know, track motion. But if you wanna do that, if this words, if you if you have like a really long name or really long words under each other, you wanna just go to the track motion icon of the animation track. And then we're gonna click on there. And then as you can see, if you move this box smaller or bigger with this icon on the corner, right now, as you can see, we can just drag it, you know, smaller or bigger. I'm just gonna click on restore box because I think this is the perfect size. All right. so now. Now that we need to do is we need to make sure like think like all right how we're we gonna make this guy appear so i'm going to create a quick fade in what we're going to do is i'm going to see if i can actually make this guy come from the top to the bottom because if i want to you know make my name like each word for my name appear because there's like three words under each other if i'm going to make these guys appear it has to be from the top to bottom if i go to the event pan crop icon and if i flip this one vertically i think if i play it back let's see what that looks like 
I think that looks really, really cool as well. What we're going to do is we're going to first make the first word appear. So how we're going to do that is we're going to work with masks and keyframes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to play it back and make sure to just do it like this. I'm going to make this one a little bit longer than the actual transition is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the event pan crop icon of the text. And then we're going to go to the bottom where it says mask. And we're going to first start off by selecting our text, uh, the order word just at the top. So now we're going to go ahead and key and time this up. As you can see, it comes way too early. So I'm going to move it a little bit. Now I'm going to add in a little fade in. A little quicker. A little later as well. It also appears with, with this icon. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go right here. And then when the second one starts to appear in the middle, what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on sync cursor. So now that our marker on the bottom of this little timeline is following actually along this marker in our actual timeline. So now we're going to go and click on this icon to create a new mask. And then we're going to create a new keyframe, for example, right here a little bit further. I'm going to, for example, select this part of my name. Let's play it back. I think that one looks really, really good. So now we're going to also do that for the last word. And now we're going to click on back on the event parent crop icon. And I'm going to click somewhere on this part. And I'm going to move on frame by frame. So I can see the third one coming, which is around right here. So now we're going to make our last word appear. But first, create a new keyframe, just like a few further. And then go and select our bottom word. So let's see what that looks like. I think it appears a little bit too early. So I'm going to go back to the Vampire Crop icon. And then I'm going to click on this keyframe and also on this one to both select them and then drag them a little bit further. Let's see what that looks like. That looks really, really nice, as you can see. And that's how you can make a really cool text or a really powerful animation with this cool overlay that you guys can find in the description. So, but I think, in my opinion, it looks great, but it's a little bit boring. Like, it doesn't have a background. We're going to go and look for some fire particles to put underneath it. All right, guys. So, I just dragged in this really nice picture of this animation from, like, flying particles. So, let's go and play it back. I'm going to remove the audio first. When this animation appears, it turns black. And that's because we cannot see through it. So, to fix that is you want to go to the icon which of that same track and then you want to click on compositing mode right here and then you want to put that one to screen so now you guys can see through it and the black is gone but we can also match up the background appearing with the actual lines for example like this or you can add in a nice long fade in or we can also even add in a transition from the sapphire plugin if i drag on this really nice flash that i use in my outro as you can see like that and you can also add in that flash onto the regular text right here on that fade. So as you can see, that lo looks really cool. And of course, you can go to the like media generators icon and you can select all the text and you can add in like a nice outline. For example, not like a red one, but let's say we're going to go for a black one. And then we're going to also add in some shadow to have some detail right here, as you can see. What you can also do, you can duplicate this track with like the fire particles on it. And then you can create a new one. And then you can just drag that on here and mess with in compositing mode. So we actually have like this fire look on our text. So let's go ahead and browse through the compositing mode, which one that actually does it. Let's see, I think maybe overlay. I don't think that does it too. I think this one looks very, very nice that the text has some texture on it, as you can see. So as you can see, that looks really, really tight because we have right now we have some particles flying, but we also have some texture over the text for like some orange and some blue at the bottom. And that's just really that's just really simply done by just messing with the compositing mode of the track. For example, add you can also do that, for example, like this looks really, really tight. And this is how you can create some cool, powerful text animations. And it works exactly the same if I just open up that folder or real quick. This is how you can drag in, for example, this one on top of it, even two. And then you can also change the color of this one because this one is pink but if you want to have this one like for example like orange to make it fit you can go to the video fx tab you want to go to the, the color corrector but you want to pick the secondary one drag on the default and then you want to mess with the rotation hue until it turns orange or blue one of the two because both colors blue and orange are in this background but let's go and place this one onto screen as well the compositing mode and then we can just make this one a little bit smaller and we can have this appear on our text for example when it starts to appear like that 
as you can see, that looks really, really cool. This is how you can create some powerful text animations in Vegas Pro. It's how you animate the text, how you make it first appear to the background, to having some cool flash overlays on it, to have some, you know, like visuals going behind it, you know, customizing your text, like adding some shadows, some lines, and that's really how simple it is. Download link is in the description, guys, because I'm not going to make an entire video about like, you know, all the 16 or 17 effects because this video would be like a half hour long or even longer. So this is how you do it. This is how you customize them this is how you tweak them as well like how you make them bigger or how you make them like change position and there's nothing more to it actually it's that simple all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to create some really powerful text animations in vegas pro 18 and if you guys want to see that video about an hour long that i dropped last weekend about vegas pro the most advanced editing tutorial i actually ever did in my entire career make sure to check out the link down in the description and also the download link for these overlays are in the description as well so that's all for you guys today and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video.